Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Adrian, bringing you guys a Sun and Moon giveaway to celebrate the hype of Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out. This is a super simple giveaway for a chance to win a new 3DS XL and a copy of either Sun or Moon or a $300 gift card. That'll be up to the winner to decide which one you want. And all you have to do to enter is just like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and leave a comment to our question of the day today. Which starter Pokemon do you like the most or which starter Pokemon are you choosing for Sun and Moon? Is it Rowlet, Poplio, or Litten? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyone in the world can enter. You do not have to be in the United States. And I will choose the winner at the last episode of the Mono Bug Lock. This is totally independent of any of the other giveaways I'm doing. So feel Feel free to check out my shiny island quest if you want to enter another one and definitely show your love super simple good luck and enjoy the video yo what is going on youtube this is your boy dan aka a job i'm bringing you guys the first ever pokemon moon bug lock if you guys are hyped for this series show your love in that like button down below pokemon sun and moon is finally here after nearly a year of waiting we've been playing x and y we've been playing oras and now we have pokemon sun and moon and i am kicking things off sticking to my roots doing my first ever playthrough of pokemon sun and moon bug only we're gonna be doing a bug lock which i will explain here momentarily but let's jump into things man i've been waiting for this for so long and i'm so excited guys and i want to thank you guys for taking the time to check out my video and i hope you guys are just as stoked as i am man we are ready for an awesome awesome journey here in the alola region and i'm going to showcase some of the really cool bug type pokemon throughout this playthrough so get hyped for that let's jump right into it man i only speak english so i have to select english and we're going to begin the game right now and we're going to see what is going to go down our settings have been saved i'm so excited guys this is really like pretty much the first opportunity i've had as a pokemon let's player to let Let's play a game when it first gets released. Uh, oh, Ras, I didn't quite do it like this, so I'm really excited about it. You have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui. Ooh, Professor, let's see what you have to say, man. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is actually happening, guys. I feel like it's Christmas right now. Hang on now, give me a sec. Oh, baby, he's waving to us. Hey there, good evening. Ah, so the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Oh, man. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah! There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out there in Alola either. What's gonna be in the Pokeball? Is it gonna be a Toga tomorrow? I don't actually know, so. Such mysterious creatures. It's a Rockruff! You'll find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can't you wait till I'm done talking to play? I feel like that's my dog, man. Lily is all over it. Every time you try to do something, she just jumps all over you. All right, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Ooh, I am so hyped about the trainer customization in this game, guys. They really stepped it up to another level. The fact that you don't have to wear hats is just amazing. Okay, so I have to choose between these characters. I'm gonna go with this dude right here. Uh, I have dark hair, and I look like that guy, closer than anything else. So I have to spell out my name. I'm gonna go with A-Drive, as I normally would. Ooh, look at this bottom screen looking beautiful, this keyboard. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm I'm just like filled with joy and happiness right now. A-Drive it is, I spelled it right. Bug Maniac A-Drive for this Let's Play. That's what I prefer. So you go by A-Drive, I do indeed. Oh man, oh man, I'm so hyped. Ah, uh, look at us. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everyone know that you're on your way. A-Drive. Ooh, there's a Picky Peck. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Oh, man, we're cousins now. He's got these cool... Yo, so fun story. I used to have glasses like Kukui does. I used to have, like, prescription Oakley glasses that I wore when I played baseball. I was totally lame, but it's okay. A-Drive, come help me with these boxes. Uh, that's probably my mom. Come help me with these boxes! I will go do that. Ooh, there's my magazine for the Alola region, my plane ticket, there's Lusamine. I do have to say this to you guys, I did my best to try to avoid spoilers as best as I could. Obviously, I covered a lot of the official stuff, but recently, right before the game uh, came out, a lot of people were spoiling. There were so many leaks and stuff, and I did my best to avoid them so I could try to enjoy the game as best as possible. But there is Lily. We know Lily. She's got a, something in her bag, and it looks like a Cosmog. We know about that, too. Another official reveal. Unfortunately, we do know a little bit, but 
hopefully uh, we won't be spoiled from the story, but she's being chased down. This is intense, man. Oh my goodness, she's booking it too, look at this. This cutscene is real. Oh my goodness, oh man. This looks beautiful already, guys. I'm so excited for the aesthetics of this game. Oh man, she's gonna book it around the corner. Oh my goodness, oh there's a dude there. What is she gonna do? She's gonna have to get figure something out. I don't know how she's gonna get around this. Oh man, these guys look pretty evil. Is this team Ether? It's gotta be, that was uh, that was like the Ether Corporation. She better, she better teleport or something. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh boy, things are about to get hectic. What is this? What just happened? Wow, Pokemon Moon prevented by Game Freak. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped, oh my goodness. So that's how the story's gonna start. She is gonna be chased down three months later. Wow, so she had this thing for a long time. She had that little thing in her bag for a long time because I'm assuming she's gonna have the bag when we meet her. But here is the uh, the first island, which looks look absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. So let me, this is a good opportunity for me to tell you guys a little bit about what the bug lock is gonna be. So there's a couple core rules. If you're, if you're familiar with the Nuzlocke, it's not too different from that. So basically what I'm gonna do, guys, is I have, I'm gonna catch every bug Pokemon I encounter. One of every bug Pokemon. So if I find a Ladybug, I'll catch that, and I have one Ladybug or Letty in throughout the whole playthrough. But each of those bug Pokemon only gets two lives. So if it faints twice, then it gets boxed or released like you would in a normal Nuzlocke. The reason why I'm giving these bug Pokemon two lives is because there's gonna be less opportunities for me to catch Pokemon than I otherwise would in a regular Nuzlocke. So that's why I felt that I should give them a couple extra lives like I did in my Shiny Lock. So uh, each bug Pokemon will have two lives and it is a Nuzlocke, but I'm not gonna be too stressed about it. I wanna enjoy the game. I'm gonna be taking my time playing through the Let's Play and just enjoying my first playthrough of Pokemon Moon. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna be nicknaming every Pokemon and uh, we're gonna just, that's that's pretty much it. That's the rule, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna only use bug type Pokemon in this Let's Play as soon as I can. So I think it's time for us to jump into it, man. Ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under the Alola's calm moon and there's a little Meowth. I feel like I could stay out here forever or all night, but that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. As someone who just moved, it took us weeks to unpack our entire box. Like we didn't have a lot of stuff either. It just when you're so busy, it's so hard to get all that stuff done. But Meowth, go and get a drive for me, would you? Meow. That's funny, I can tell my dog, I tell Lily, I'm like, Lily, go see mommy, and Lily goes running towards towards my wife, which is actually really funny. <laughs> Meowth can do that too, evidently. Oh man, I can't, oh, look at this. We're in our bedroom. Oh, I remember the opening scene from X and Y with the Fletchling coming through, and I remember being so stoked about it. Meow. That was actually a pretty good cat cry. Meow. I feel like that was the best cat cry I've ever done. Um, all right, so there's there's us, sleeping on our, on our bed in, in jeans, apparently. I don't know why we're doing that, but it's okay. Here comes the Meowth running up. Does this speak English? No. All right, what do we got going on? Am I gonna wake up from that? Do I have to wake up myself? I'm still sleeping. Oh, I have to press the other button. Okay, I'm not used to using these buttons. Oh my goodness, I am officially playing Pokemon Sun and Moon. This is amazing. Okay, let's look at our options here. So we're gonna keep our tech speed. We'll switch, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep, I'll just keep, Oh, do I want to do set or switch battle style? That's always the struggle. Um, I'm gonna do L equals A, and I think I'm gonna put it on set battle style because I always like that challenge of set battle style. So let's uh, confirm, and maybe I'll change it later, we'll see. But I have heard rumors that there is an experience share, so we should be okay. But there's some boxes. Let's see what this box is. There are moving boxes full of your belongings. Oh, I don't have to actually do anything. What's up, Meowth? Meow. All right, so there's Meowth, the cool stuff. We got our journal here. You check the book your father gave you. Adventure, open the X button, record your progress with save. I could do that. Got ourselves a Wii U with a, a gamepad. There's a little ditto here. The ditto pillow and Pokey toy are covered in Meowth's cat claw marks. Oh, jeez, Meowth. What are you doing, Meowth? All right, well, let's head downstairs and see what's going on downstairs. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, look at our kitchen, yo. This is like upgrade. You guys remember when you, when we first played Red and Blue and the houses were just like, you had like a sink and then a TV and that was it, there was no rooms? You were like out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So A-Drive, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course, I'm so pumped! That's right, I want you to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? 
I sure hope so. I hope all the bug types are friendly. There's some really cool bug types in Sun and Moon, guys, that I've seen. I'm really excited to rock with them. And also kind of bring in some of the old bug types, too, and maybe show them some love, too. Bug types are my favorite type, guys, and I'll get into that a little bit, either on this episode or another episode. But was that the doorbell? That's got to be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in, A-Drive? Oh, man, I got to go get to get to the door for Professor Kukui. Can I just run by default? Oh, my God, they don't even have to give me running shoes. He just walked in. This man just walking into my house. What are you doing, Cuckoo? Cuckooey, he's like, yo, can I borrow some, some vegetables? He doesn't even wear a shirt. Hey there, A-Drive. The name's Cuckooey. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after the long trip all the way out here in Alola. You feeling any jet lag yet? We sure are a long way from cancer out here in Alola. It's still nighttime out here, yeah? Ah, we are playing Moon. I don't know if my DS is set to the proper time, but we will be playing in the darkness quite a bit, but I'll probably switch the DS time around a little bit to, to kind of compensate for it. Yeah, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. I would just let myself in. Oh, and just call me Kukui, would ya? Welcome to Alola. All right. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know. I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Ha! I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all, but, uh, you know, I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Oh my goodness. Hey now, A Drive. Let's get a move to the next town over, cousin. Time to meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon! A Pokemon! A Pokemon! Oh my goodness. Yeah, sure, the Kahuna who lives on Iki Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah? But don't try to talk in the, uh, don't try taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. Ooh, we know that they're in charge of their island, too. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon, then those Kahunas really are worth meeting. That is cool that the way this, the Pokemon world is set up is they just hook you up with a Pokemon when you're ready to start. Uh, so you don't have to go catch yourself a Fletchling or a Picky Peck, rather. Hurry up and get ready, A-Drive. Your bag and hat and things are still in the box in your room, I think. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on the desk there, too? Oh, oh, I bet you got a Stalin hat that'll match mine, eh? All right, so we need to book it. I'm booking it. Mom's in my way. I'm going upstairs. I'm ready to go. This is my... Out I'm outside? They let me go outside? This is next level. How do I get upstairs? Is this my door to upstairs? I don't actually know. It is. Okay. All right, so we got our hat and stuff in here. Uh, my bag and my hat. Sweet. I'm definitely ditching the hat, though. I hope I can get some bug catcher clothing in this game. I don't know. But I really want to, like, deck it out bug catcher clothing style to make it so I fit with the theme. You know what I mean? I hope I could dress something like a bug catcher. That would be amazing. Um, oh, we're looking stylish, though. We're looking stylish. I'm feeling it. All right, what else we got going on? Oh, man, this Meowth. It's so happy. They're laughing. I didn't even get my adventure rules, though. They didn't even tell me to get them, but... You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. Oh, maybe that was what I read earlier. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Ooh, I'm so hyped. Wow, that's a Stalin hat, cousin. Yeah, it's 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 from Kanto. You know what I'm saying? It's from Kanto. So I don't know about you guys, but I've actually never been to Hawaii, but we almost booked Hawaii for a honeymoon. Decided to go somewhere else, though, due to the cost, but uh, I'm really excited to experience the Alola region in this game, and then maybe I'll go to Hawaii one day. I don't know. Your mom there, she's pretty looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get it going in Iki Town. Time for you to get real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh, yeah. feel like I'm talking to the Kool-Aid man over here. The Kool-Aid man is just chilling. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to Iki Town. We got to get ourselves our first Pokemon, which... Unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are gonna pick our starter and then we're not gonna use them really But uh, we're gonna get a really cool bug Pokemon instead. So don't worry A drives house. I even have a garage like check it out. We got a garage. We got a palm tree out front Like this is a pretty nice house ma you put in the work This is our little backyard over here, which leads to Iki town I can't guys I I just cannot believe that after all this, the game is in my hands, and we are playing the game, and you guys are hopefully enjoying the game too, man. Hey now, the heat getting you? I said we go this way. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little cutscene. So he's going to wave me over. That's really neat. All right, so we're going this way. Let's do it, Kukui. Let's take me to Iki Town. Now, this is more like it. Yeah, welcome to the parade, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all... You can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got a Pokemon helping you out. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First off, we're to go into Iki Town. Come on, it's not far, we cut up here. All right, man. Oh, dude, I can't wait to get my first Pokemon and get my first bug Pokemon, you know what I mean? What is this? Hey, you look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You make me wanna dash around too, I bet I can go even faster. Holding B will help you dash. All right, can I go this way? Oh, this is Route 1? Oh, I can't do anything over here, but we're on Route 1 already. 
I love it. The power of science is amazing. Simply the press of the button can trade Pokemon or battle around the world. Wow, all right. We got, oh, dude, look at this. Oh my goodness. We're walking down the pathway. Here's Kukui and a little kid again. So A-Drive, you're loving Alola already, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so hyped. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier I'll be. Oh, there's a little kid. Oh yeah, look, there's an excited Alola trainer's coming to us. Professor Kukui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please? Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? So you come and find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move and I'll battle you. <laughs> He's just like, kid, I'll have time for you right now. I gotta get this dude to put, ooh, a Pikachu and a girl and a Pokeball. Oh my goodness, so many things for us to grab, but I don't think they're gonna let me go in the grass yet. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive in the tall grass and catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. But we don't, as he's, he's trying to point out. But there's Route 1, so we're gonna head backwards there. Oh, Young Goose versus Meowth. Then trainers go up against one another in a battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, Young Goose! <sighs> that's my Young Goose sound. <laughs> I want that guy's t-shirt. That kid, the kid right there, that's the shirt I wanna wear. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's get it moving. Iki Town is right over there. Oh my goodness. I want that shirt that that kid has so bad though in this game. Like I really want to rock that Vika Volt shirt. All right, here we are in Iki Town. It looks beautiful. Wow. The starting town right across the like right near our house. And we're here. The right this right here is Iki Town. Oh man. Is that like the Oh, this is the platform. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokémon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? So Tapu Koko is in charge of the Mele Mele Island. Huh, what's going on over here? We were supposed to meet everyone right here, yeah? Where did everyone go? Maybe they're all back on the Mahala Trail. That's where our uh, the ruins of our garden deity Tapu Koko are, yeah? Oh man. A-Drive, do me a salt and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss anyone else. The island Kahuna, you can't miss him. He just looks like a Kahuna. Oh man, we gotta find the, uh, the island Kahuna now. I don't know if I can just walk into people's houses and stuff, but... Wow, I just walked in this person's house. Let's see what they got going on in here. It said that ancient people rode the waves and seas with their Pokemon to settle the Alola region. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own ways. All right. Figured I'd just stop in your house, say hi. Seems like that's what normal people do. Kukui broke into my house, so I'll break into yours. No problemo. We're gonna search everywhere, guys. I am gonna be searching in every crevice, looking for everything I can find, guys. I'm really excited about it. Um, I have a feeling that I need to, let's, let's go do the Kukui part though first. That way I can kind of, I'll adventure this town for sure. Is this not the right way? Oh, I think it is. Oh, there's Lily. We know she's Lily. Really, you wanna go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. Oh, she's going. So she booked it out of that uh, the other foundation. That was three months ago though. Three months ago, what's this guy doing? What mysterious creatures? Pokemon sometimes lead out of the grass to help people in trouble. Really? Well, let's go this way. This definitely seems like the way we're supposed to go. The Mahalo Trail. Oh baby, look at this. This just looks beautiful. The music, the the sounds. Oh man, I'm so hyped for this soundtrack. I'm so hyped for this soundtrack. We're just walking up the Mahalo Trail. I could run up it, but we could run up it. We could walk up it. We're just excited. This is cool though. Is that Kukui up there? No, it's Lily still. She's, she's walking slowly and she's got something in her bag. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Wow, so she's she's definitely got something going on in that bag there. She definitely has something going on in her bag. Let's. Let's go chase her down in, in the least creepy way possible, obviously, just to clarify. Oh man, she's booking it. Oh no, she's, she, things look things look like, oh man, it popped out! It's flying away, <laughs> no! What are you doing, little guy? What, uh-oh. Oh boy, here come the Spearows. Flashback to Gen 1 Spearow action. This thing is not happy. He's like ducking and hiding right now. These spears are coming through. You better be careful there, little Cosmog. Don't mind me that I know its name. It's, it was part of the re reveal. All right, we need to just go save this thing. We need to do something here. Wait, you're not gonna try to save it, lady? What are you doing? She's just standing here. I'm just like, hey, what's up? Ah! What's wrong? H help Save Nebby! Oh, we gotta go get Nebby. Oh, snap, Nebby is about to get bopped, though. We need to save Nebby. Pew pew! We gotta save Nebby. Nebby is not in good spot here. The Spearows are attacking it, but I'm afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. She's been running for three months. 
All right, we need to go save Nebby. I'm not waiting. Oh my goodness. Whoa, we gotta be careful. Whoa! Cotton, calm down there. Is there like a secret? I don't, I don't think, I think it's just, we're always gonna do that, but let's not fall. I don't wanna fall off the bridge. I'm kinda scared of heights. I mean, there's water underneath, but you get, you get what I'm saying. Yo, these spears need to calm down. Yeah, I'll, I'll fend them off just by sitting here. Oh man, calm down, Spiro. Yo, these Spiros are intense. Whoa, Nebby is getting, getting, oh my goodness, Nebby. What, Nebby, no, Nebby, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, now I'm falling into the water. But here comes Tapu Koko to save the day like an action movie, Tapu, you legend. Tapu Koko, the legend, the man, the myth. It's really cool that they've integrated the legendary Pokemon into the storyline in this game. In the other games, like, not that they don't usually, but you, like your Entei, Raikou, Suicune, those Pokemon, they tend to, um, they tend to kind of end up being like backseat. I mean, Suicune, obviously, and Crystal, but you know what I'm saying? I think it's cool. Anyway. Pew. Oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I knew you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't help you in return. Pew. This little Neb he's like walking away. I thought he was about to book it. What? What is that? Oh, what is happening? What are you doing, Nebby? Pew, pew. A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I'm so grateful for you to helping us out in that dangerous spot. Who are you? You're not the Kahuna. I'm not even going to ask that question. I think this stone must belong to you. What is it? The sparkling stone. Is that like a Z crystal? Oh, you know what? I think they, they can make the bracelet out of it. I don't know. You open up the key item's pocket and put the sparkling stone inside. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. All right, so Nebby, Nebby definitely listens pretty well, aside from the fact that it got attacked from Spiros, but should have just stayed in the bag the whole time, you know what I'm saying? But we're not gonna jump on Nebby's case right now. We're not gonna jump on Nebby's case. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon. I know it's not too much to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? So we never even found the Kahuna, and I can't go back this way. Whoa, okay, that was a mistake. Um, we never found the Kahuna. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything going on over here. This is a really cool area, though, but I definitely thought that we could go this way before. Uh, I guess it just kind of wraps around. Okay, Lily, or whatever your name is. I don't know your name's Lily. It's a secret. Well, they they revealed that pretty early, but... All right, let's go back to town. I gotta get my Pokemon, man. I gotta get some Pokeballs so I can catch my first Pokemon. I'm excited. I'm so excited. And you already know what the plan is, if you haven't... If you haven't seen behind me, you already know. The Lord and Savior, the Soul Destroyer himself, Grubbin. Kukui says, hey, A-Drive, looks like you missed the Kahuna. Yeah, but you found my assistant. Oh, yeah. So Kukui's assistant is Lily. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Um, yes, you can call me Lily. And Lily, this is A-Drive. He just moved to the Alola. He just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. Oh man, the Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our Guardian's Chosen One is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon used in Alola, yeah! Ah, uh, and there he is, Kahuna. Kahuna! That could be a Pokemon in itself. Kahuna! I like the sandals. Reminds me of Rocket Power. No Shubies allowed in the Alola region. Have I, uh, <laughs> have I missed something? Nah, but while you were off, where'd you go, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island after all. Wherever there is problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this boy helped to get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of us might have fallen to the bottom of the ravine, and that was when the island's guardian died. He swooped in to save them. Whoa, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui told me you coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. And there it is, the starter screen. I still remember back like nine, 10 months ago when I first saw these starters and I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, it's an owl and a cat and a 
seal thing. Oh man. First is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. Cool. Rowlet don't care. Next is the fire type Pokemon, Litten. Wow. And last is the water Pokemon, Poplio. Wow. <laughs> That's what Poplio sounds like. Wow. Oh, the decision is so tough. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? I'm gonna pick the grass type Rowlet to make it so if there is a rival situation in this game, which I don't know, it'll be the harder end because I'll have bug types. So we're gonna go with Rowlet here, uh, which is my starter of choice. And this is our question of the day. What starter are you picking for Pokemon Sun and Moon? Let me know in the comment section below. Will you choose the grass type Pokemon Rowlet? I will. Let me know, are you team Rowlet? Are you team Litten? Are you team Poplio? Let me know in the comments, baby. All right, so we are gonna go with Rowlet, the little owl looking cute as ever, of course. And uh, we're not gonna use him in this playthrough, but have no fear, I will use Rowlet in another Let's Play. So, only when you have chosen each other, you can truly call each other partners. So is he gonna choose me or I have to battle now? Oh, this is so cool, this is the cutscene where the little Rowlet comes running up to me, I think. Come running up to me, Rowlet. Please, so let us see if little Rowlet also decides to choose you. Oh man, what if he run what if he runs the other way? What if he runs the other way? Rowlet has his gaze fixed on you. He just shook his head no. He said no, I'm not coming. Cool. He knows I'm gonna only use bug types. He knows the struggle. He's not gonna what if he just turned around? Oh no, he flew to me. What a cutie. What a cutie. Lily's like, what? Aw, oh, this is this is such a beautiful scene. I love it. If only I could have a Grubbin that I'm holding up instead for this playthrough, but that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive, you know, Masuda and the rest of the team, you know. Cool, cool. The grass type Pokemon Rowlet looks a bit tickled. Oh, so little Rowlet has accepted you as well, eh, Drive? Having accepted one another, you surely be friends for life. They don't know. But I'd like to give Rowlet a nickname. I'll nickname him. We'll just call him, uh... We'll call him, I'm not gonna use him, but maybe I'll use him, like, I'll transfer him later or something like that. We'll name him Robin Hoot. I like that name quite a bit. I've seen a lot of people talk about using this name, and I thought it was kind of cool, like Robin Hood, but Robin Hoot instead. I thought it was cool. So we'll roll with that. Um, Robin Hoot. I think that'll work. But like I said, I'm not gonna use the Rowlet anyway, so we're gonna have to get our first bug Pokemon. Nice to meet you, Rowlet. Pew! Oh, when did you get out again? I knew that Kahuna, Hala, and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you choose a wonderful, chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. So she seems pretty happy. That's it, A-Drive. Now you've got a real Pokemon and you're a real trainer. And here's a lovely gift to make it special, cuz. What is he gonna give me? The Pokedex, the Rotom Pokedex. A Pokedex is a high-tech kind of cool, or high-tech kind of tool. Yeah, it automatically records facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new partner, Rowlet, is already registered, so yeah, check it out. Ooh, baby. This is the trainer passport that I put together for you. All right, so I got a passport. Now, why don't you introduce your new friend to your mom? All right, so I'm actually going to just book it straight to mom right now, and then I'll, I'll explore the town at some point, but let's take a look at our little owl dude. And uh, he's looking cool. He's got his leafage. He's got he's relaxed nature with growl. So nothing too crazy there I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at Rowlet again because I'm sure a lot of you guys are choosing Rowlet And uh, I just want to get my first bug Pokemon. So let's book it. Let's see if I can get back to town here Without having too many too many delays. Oh, who's this guy? I just want to get my first bug Pokemon so we can get started. Hey you and me. Let's have a Pokemon battle Whoa, where's the fire boy? What kind of Pokemon battle would it be if you didn't even give a name first, eh? Ah, uh, it's our rival here. Who is it? Fair enough, I'm Howe and my partner is Poplio. Your rival looks really cool too. Thanks. So let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been looking for you all over. I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch you. Oh yeah, your first battle already. Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no holds barred battle from both of you. All right, man, it's about to go down. Do I walk up to him? All right, let's do it. Let's battle. I'm ready to throw down, man. Well then, let the Pokemon battle begin. So we're gonna start things off here with our little Rowlet, and eventually, obviously, we'll uh, we'll switch it up a little bit. But Pokemon Trainer Howie's got his Popleo. He's chucking that Pokeball out there, and there it is, our first official battle in the Alola region, right here, right now. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh man. I have an easy strategy here though. We're gonna click leafage. Seems like a good strategy to me. Let's look at this beautiful animation. Oh, there it is. Bam, over half damage. Unless he's got like, oh, I love the background. 
Hal was just like stuck his hand out to tell him to go for a water gun. Oh man, I love it. Let's go for another leafage. And that'll actually finish off the Poplio. Pretty easy battle for this one here. And that's gonna be it for Poplio, so no big deal. I didn't know if he would have Litten or Poplio. I actually didn't even know that, so it's okay. We'll have to face Poplio instead, but, but uh, Fairy, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to spoil too much. Anyway, uh, I guess it was officially revealed, though. I'm always trying to, like, I'm always battling between what was officially revealed and what wasn't, but that's okay. So anyway, um, that was an easy first matchup there. No problemo. Ah, uh, he that gave me chicken skin. What does that mean? Hey, Drive, right? Your rally was awesome. I've never been seen someone so happy to lose. That settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. What's happened in my bag? Huh, hey, Drive, would you be so kind to give me that sparkling stone you have over there? Sure, you can just take it, dude. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, A-Drive? Yeah, it rescued me. Oh, so it decided, it, uh, it deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in a little while, A-Drive, because this is what you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I will return it tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have all the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited. I'm down to join the festival. I'm ready for the party. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe, though. Lily, you should come with us, too. Wouldn't be one to lose you twice in a day. You were that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on. <laughs> Pew! Lily, you are the worst at watching this thing. Would you have tried not to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? And they're all just laughing it out. They're all just having a good time. A little party action. All right, so we're back home now. I see the route around the corner there. I wonder if Route 1 kind of just moves around the whole island, this whole area of the island. But there's our Rowlet following us. Welcome back, A-Drive. So what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Cool. Oh, man. Oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this, sweetheart? Because it's cute. He's cute. Well, then you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Mwah. Cool. Sweet. Oh my goodness, what's happening next? Something happened. I don't know what happened. The next day. Ah, so we went to sleep, chilling with our Rowlet. You know, relaxing. It's the next day. It's probably gonna still be nighttime. Oh, it's daytime. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day I finally unpack. Sunset? Wait, what? <laughs> Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, A-Drive. All right, man, I'm down, to, I'm down to go see what's going down. Let's see what's up. What's going on over here at the doorbell? Oh, baby, what do we got? It's Kukui again. Come on, give me some Pokeballs, Kukui. Hey there, A-Drive. About time we set for the festival. But first, now that you're a real trainer with your Pokemon, I've got to show you something. Come with me to Route 1. Oh man, is he gonna give me Pokeballs? Have fun at the festival, I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new pal. Me and Meowth will sure to unpack every last box. And Meowth is like, I do not wanna do that. I am not interested in unpacking every last box, but. Oh man. Hey, hurry up, cousin. Pretend that you're using your Pokemon and using agility. All right, so we're heading to route one. To route one we go. Where are you, Kukui, did you leave me? Oh, he's gonna show me up here in this patch of grass. Route one. Yeah, over here. Oh man. So you know wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? So now you got Rowlet, you can not only find wild Pokemon, but you can try to catch him. I'll show you how to catch a wild Pokemon. Keep your eyes out. Oh man, he's gonna he's gonna do the wild Pokemon thing here. Let's see what he's gonna find. I'm assuming he's gonna send out a rock rough. There's a picky peck, alright. Kukui's gonna send out Rock Rough. Oh man, this is exciting. I hope he gives us a bunch of Pokeballs. So I'm gonna tell you guys what my plan is here. And depending on how things go, you'll probably see it on the thumbnail because I'm hopeful that things will work out. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. So my plan here is this, guys. I am going to take this bug lock to the next level. I am going to shiny hunt for a shiny grubbin to kick off the bug lock. I am not gonna just try to get all shinies. This isn't a shiny only playthrough, but I thought it would be incredibly awesome for me to try to get my first ever shiny being a Grubbin because Vikavolt shiny looks amazing. And I really thought it'd be a cool way to make this bug playthrough even more awesome than it already would be by having an awesome shiny Grubbin on our team. So my plan is to shiny hunt for a Grubbin as soon as I can find Grubbin in the game. And I will tell you this guys as well, I'm gonna be lining up three copies of Pokemon Moon to do this for myself. So when you see that shiny Grubbin on the screen, it will 
will be me hunting three DSs at the same time, trying to find this Grubbin, and hopefully we'll find it relatively quickly, because obviously I'm anxious to play the game, and I'm not gonna continue the game or the story until I find my shiny Grubbin. So we have to figure out where Grubbin's gonna be in the first place or whatever bug Pokemon we can find, but that's the plan. While Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you. But if your Pokemon get all suckered out by fighting, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, I'm sure she'll let you and the whole team rest up at home. Or you could use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started. All right, so we're gonna get the hook up there. We got 10 Pokeballs, which is great. And uh, I'm gonna be hunting, uh, hopefully, and trying to find this Grubbin. And again, I will be catching one of every po bug Pokemon on this playthrough, but I'm not gonna necessarily catch the first one I see, obviously, especially right now, just because I wanna focus on trying to get this shiny Grubbin. But later on, I will try to catch generally the first bug I see of that species. So for example, if I find like a shiny, or I'm sorry, not a shiny, just like a Ladybug in the grass right now, I'm probably not gonna catch it just yet, but I will try to do that in the future. So let's see what we can find here. Uh, I don't know if Grubbin is in this grass, but I'm gonna run around and see what we can find first and kind of go from there. So it looks like we found our first little wild picky peck. Very nice, level three. I have 10 Pokeballs, so that's a good thing. So we should be good to go with that. But let's see what else we could find here in this grass. Uh, this is route one, I believe. So. Let's see what we got going on here in Route 1. I'm excited. I don't know what's going to show up here, but I'm hoping and, and hopeful that Grubbin will be a part of this. There's a Young Goose. So Young Goose is there. And I do want to throw this out there, too. Obviously, since I'm shiny hunting, there is the chance that I find a shiny that's not Grubbin. If that happens, I will still catch it. I just won't use it for this playthrough. So uh, that'll just be the struggle, I guess. That'll just be the struggle that we deal with. But I, I did hear a rumor that Grubbin is in Route 1. So I'm gonna get a few more encounters here and see if I can at least find one. Oh, there's a Caterpie. All right, so we know Caterpie exists here on Route 1, which is very cool. That's really nice to know. But does Grubbin exist? So I will eventually catch a Caterpie. I'm not gonna catch it right now because I wanna try to catch Grubbin first, but I will catch a Caterpie um, for the bug lock. So don't worry. I just wanna see what other Pokemon show up in this grass here. I'm very excited to see what other Pokemon show up. I did hear a rumor from a friend though that there is Grubbin on Route 1 though. So I'm curious. There's another young goose. So we're gonna we're gonna just do a couple encounters here just to see if I could find a grubbin first and foremost. So I'll do a quick cut to the video here until I uh, until I can confirm. I'll do a bunch of encounters and we'll see what we can find. All right guys, so we're back and unfortunately I was misinformed or I was just totally wrong. You actually can't find grubbin in this patch of grass, but have no fear. There is apparently a way to find grubbin early on in the game. So I am gonna search and try to find that patch of grass. I know it's on route one. So we're just gonna continue things here. Our episode one of this let's play is just gonna be a little bit longer than a normal episode would be, but I'm okay with that and I hope you guys are too. I really, really wanna get a solid uh, opportunity to try to go for this grubbin. And uh, I do plan on catching all the bug types that I can get in the beginning in the game but I want to wait and try to get that that shiny first and obviously I can't make any promise it's gonna happen I can't tell the future but I'm certainly gonna try so we'll see how it goes but either way I'm back and I'm ready to rock and apparently I can't run from a level three picky pack there we go uh, you can see I got hit by one earlier that it wouldn't let me run from but all right so let's keep it rolling here there's a pokeball here in the grass let's see what it's gonna be it is a potion that could come in handy I know we have 10 pokeballs which is nice and I don't know where this leads us to. It looks like there's some trainers up ahead. So I will have to fight some of these trainers, it seems, with uh, our Rowlet here. But have no fear, guys. I will be adding bug Pokemon to the team as soon as I possibly can. I can't seem to avoid this kid, but we'll try, man. We'll try. Uh, the reason why I don't want to catch bug Pokemon now is because, as I mentioned, I'm going to be hunting on three different copies of Moon at the same time to, uh, to try to find this shiny Grubbin. And I don't want to go and catch a few different bug types now and then have them on my team and then get the shiny in a different game. You know what I mean? So we're going to to try to do our best here and, and have a seamless transition but unfortunately I'm, I'm attempting something that is quite challenging as we see our first Alolan Rattata which I'm actually excited about and he misses a tackle so apparently tackle is not 100 oh we might have hustle actually he probably has hustle uh, which is why I missed there that's actually scary that might actually do a lot of damage to me so unfortunately things are gonna be slightly held up here on this bug lock, but I've never played this game So I have no idea, you know I'm just going based off of you know what my friends have said a couple of my friends have started playing the game too and and uh, We're all really excited about it So youngster Jimmy is gone and we beat his little Alolan Rattata, which is really cool I'm sure we'll find some of those in the wild here pretty soon um, But I know that there's uh, supposed to be another patch of grass. Maybe it's this patch of grass right here So maybe I'll run around in it really quickly and see if I could find any any grubbins here so we'll see if this one's a grubbin but maybe i'll do a quick little cut here until i find said grubbins there's another letty bus let me do a quick cut here 
So it doesn't seem like this patch of grass is gonna give us any luck here, but there is a Pokeball. So we're gonna grab that Pokeball and uh, we'll try the next patch of grass. I had someone just tell me roughly where the Grubbins might be. I'm gonna skillfully dodge this trainer here and we're gonna walk our way up to the top here. What's going on here? So this is route one, the number one route. Oh baby. And this is gonna bring us to the town. So maybe this is the patch of grass. Let's let's take a look here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on, give me this, this rare elusive Grubbin that I'm looking for. There's a Pichu! Wow! We just found a Pichu! Oh my goodness, so I'm pretty sure Pichu is actually a very rare Pokemon to encounter. I'm actually gonna run from it, unfortunately, which I knew is kind of boring. But I'm pretty sure Pichu is actually pretty rare. I think it's actually the 5% encounter rate. So I think this is the proper patch of grass that we need to find for Grubbins. So let me just do another encounter here. We're gonna see if we can find it. I think it's 10% uh, chance to find Grubbins. So we're gonna test our luck here. So again, another little quick cut here until I find it, just so you guys don't watch me run around in the grass aimlessly here. There it is! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! So guys, I finally found a Grubbin, I kid you not. I've been looking for maybe 10 minutes and I found my first Grubbin, a level five, a little Grubbin right there, looking beautiful as ever. So now the hunt begins. This patch of grass does seem to have Grubbin in it. So I'll be hunting on three DSs, hoping to find a shiny Grubbin. So keep your fingers crossed for me and hopefully the next time I see you guys, I'll have a shiny and hopefully it'll be a Grubbin. So wish me luck! Yes! Yes! Shiny Caterpie! Let's go! Turn up, baby! Let's go! The first Pokemon Sun and Moon Shiny is a Shiny Caterpie! Let's go, man! It was not... It was not the Grubbin that I was hoping for, but it is a Shiny Caterpie. Nevertheless, I am incredibly stoked for this thing. Oh my goodness! A female level 3 Shiny Caterpie. Oh man! 3,929 encounters. Wow, just wow, turn up for that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is my first ever Pokemon Sun and Moon Shiny and it is unfortunate a little bit that it's not a new Pokemon, but it is a Shiny Caterpie. Nevertheless, and I am not gonna complain about that. Oh man, I can't believe we did it. We finally got it. Oh my goodness, I just spent the last, I don't know, probably 13 hours, took me about 13 hours to get this little guy. Wow, that is awesome, man. I'm so hyped, dude. I'm so hyped for my first ever sun and moon shiny, and I'm so glad it's a bug type Pokemon. Oh man, I gotta catch this thing. So I'm pretty sure Route 1 has a 100% catch rate. So I am gonna just throw the Pokeball at it, and, uh, and we will be able to catch it. I'm pretty sure it's 100% catch rate. We shouldn't have any issues here. Let me actually switch the audio over. I didn't even think to do that. I should be able to do that though really quickly so you can at least hear the audio in, in the proper DS. Um, oh man, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. <sighs> All right, let me turn the audio on. I think that's the right audio. Caterpie's data will be added to the Pokedex. Let's go, man. Whoo! And it is a shiny, beautiful Caterpie. Look at that thing. Oh man, that is awesome. And it's the shiny variant too. I love it. I love it. Oh man, it's easy to catch and it grows quickly, making it one of the top recommendations for novice Pokemon trainers. Let's listen to its cry. Oh, I love it. All right, so I do need to come up with a nickname for this beautiful golden Caterpie. So I'm gonna take a quick cut here and try to come up with a good nickname. We'll see what I come up with. All right, so I debated long and hard about a nickname for this thing, and I have to just go with Twilight, which is a kind of a reference to our Throwback Thursday shiny uh, Caterpie that we caught uh, on my live stream. So we're gonna name it Twilight. I tried to come up with something else, but I actually like the name Twilight, so we'll roll with it, and I think it, it shiny is gonna fit it. So we need to check this thing out and see what it's working with. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we just found a shiny Caterpie, my first shiny in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Let's take a look at this beauty. Let's take a look at it. what nature is it gonna be. Oh man, I'm so curious. It is going to be, it's got shield dust and it's jolly nature, which is actually pretty bad, but it is okay. It's gonna boost its speed stat. It's not gonna be terrible, but there is our shiny Caterpie. I know there's no bottom screen, but I'll show you guys when we pull back into game, but I am so hyped, man. I'm so hyped. Oh my goodness. I need to save the game ASAP, man. I need to save the game ASAP. Oh man. 
our first shiny, a shiny Caterpie. All right, guys, so we finally have our shiny Caterpie, as you just saw, and I am ready to rock and continue the mono bug lock. Now, I did just spend like 20 hours of shiny hunting in this patch of grass to finally get this shiny Caterpie. I'm very excited. I did try really hard for grubbing, guys. After I got the Caterpie, I did get another shiny, but I'm not gonna tell you what that is because that's gonna actually be used in a different Let's Play because it was on a different DS. Um, but I was not able to get the grubbing, guys, so I decided to, you know what? I'm really anxious to play the game. I really wanna play through the game and uh, catch these bug types. So maybe we'll shiny hunt for another bug type Pokemon oh, later in the playthrough, but we did get a shiny Caterpie and shiny Butterfree is pretty sweet. So before we wrap this episode, I thought it'd be really cool to check out Pokemon Refresh. I actually haven't checked it out yet. So uh, of course it's gonna put Rowlet there even though I wanted it to be the other guy, but give your Pokemon tender loving care, pet them gently and uh, make them very affectionate towards you. Uh, what do I press? The arrow button. Give Pokemon Poke Beans. Pokemon love to eat them. You can get them in the cafe area in any Pokemon center. And Pokemon can get dirty when they battle. When that happens, make them clean with the grooming tools. It also heals status conditions such as poisoning or paralysis. And you can switch the Pokemon you care for. Pokemon that become very affectionate will battle with Zest. Make a lot of Pokemon affectionate towards you. So I actually do want to try to use this feature. It seems like a good idea. So let's switch because I do want to get uh, our little uh, our little Twilight here because we just worked so hard for this little guy. Look at it. Almost 4,000 encounters for this little guy. And it just it's just a beautiful thing. So let's we can pet it a little bit. Looks like he's a little scared. Um, it looks like I don't need to do the refresh right now, though. He seems to be relatively clean. He hasn't even seen a battle yet, so... Oh, he's happy, though. So we brushed him, or we, we rubbed him a little bit. He's happy. Do I have any pokey beans? I do have some beans. We can give him some beans. Hey, you want some beans, little guy? Oh, look at him just munching away over there. Oh, he's so happy. Look at our little Caterpie. He's so happy. All right, cool. Well, you seem to be doing good there, little bu little guy. So we are going to catch two more bug Pokemon. We know Lediba and Grubbin are on this route, but we're going to do that on the next episode, guys, because this episode has been incredibly, incredibly long already, and it, and it took quite a while to make it happen. But I hope you guys are stoked for the next episode of the Bug Lock, guys. This is going to be a pretty uh, frequent upload schedule. I'm planning on doing like two or three episodes a day, I think. So I hope that's cool with you guys. And don't forget, uh, you know, to show your love on that like button down below. Definitely don't forget the question of the day. Uh, you know, what started? Pokemon are you going to be picking and I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are hyped for Sun and Moon I am certainly hyped to jump into this playthrough finally I know it's 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 finally for me because I just spent so long hunting but I'm excited man I'm so excited thank you guys my name is Dan I'll go by a drop and I'm gonna catch you guys later peace